Hello friends, you're with the Lonesome Gamer and I'm playing Mr. President. So it seems my last video with my new camera kind of worked. Now I kind of, uh, I cleaned the lens a little bit. There was a little bit of, I don't know, dust on the left side it seemed. But now I think it's, it's, uh, it should be fine. So, um, yeah, we go into our next phase here, minus one um, media relations, so that goes one level down. Uh, two domestic actions, so, hmm, well, well, what do I want to do? I'm in a very good shape here. Um, we go next to the legislative segment. It's really hard to to find a a good domestic action. Pretty much everything is maxed out. I could try to improve my media relations again. I could corral the cabinet. Maybe I can improve the the, the cabinet effectiveness. So. Simply roll once on the cabinet improvement table in the domestic charts booklet and apply results. It's also here, so we'll get a roll of d6 and uh, the chief of staff has a domestic rating of 1, so we can subtract 1. And I think this is it. Mm, that's a one. Fantastic. Improving. Move um, or place improving marker on the cabinet effectiveness tract. Okay. So let's do that. Cool. That, that wasn't bad. So the marker is... where is it? There. You can do this only once per activation phase, so I cannot do a second one right away. So I think I might consider doing a presidential presence that can help with the... Yeah, I can improve my media relations. Why not? Let's do it. That's a three, very good. So I can, well, it's a, oh, it's a make a presidential prestige check. Oh, wow, that was risky. My prestige is down to three. So it seems we just managed to do that. Um, so it's a plus two public approval or plus one media relations. Hmm. Um, Hard to tell. I mean, my media relations are already really good, but I think I'm going to push it even further to the very top. Okay, so now we go to the legislative segment. And I'm going to go through the flipbook here because that's a little more complicated. Okay, so let's see. First, we got to check here. Um, our friends and opponents in Congress and we have here this upper right value uh, we got 4, 6 versus 4 so that means it's plus 2 so we could move two bills one um, space to the left here of the pending bills we only have a single bill so the security moves here now we got to pass these bills and uh, again, the number in the current box in the bipartisan corporation, which would be two, but uh, we only have one bill, so we can only pass one bill. Um, so we got to check how that bill works out. Uh, we can subtract two because of that value here. There's a strong support for that bill. Um, 
On a 1 to 3 the bill is passed. So let's see. Okay, perfect. So that's a 1. And I think that's a landmark bill then, if I'm not mistaken. So let's let's go to the legislation of the um, the, the legislation segment of the domestic chart booklet. Oh man! So basically, you don't really need the flip book. It seems it, it seems to be all in here. Yeah, that's actually quite useful. It's all in here. So. Or do we have to roll again? We might have to roll again. Roll a d6 and consult the chart below to determine the quality. Yeah, I think we have to roll again. And we have a minus one modifier because the bipartisan corporation track is uh, counters on the very right. Um, so we roll a d6. Ugh, that was terrible. That's a five. Um, that's really, really bad. Hmm. Hmm. I'm serious considering... I could veto this thing, but it's a good bill. It's still a good bill. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna approve. It's it's not terrible. It's not a land, but it's it's a solid bill. Um, it would be terrible if if we would not have had that bipartisan um, cooperation modifier. Okay, so let's see. It's a good bill. It's a social security reform. So, add economy improving counter to the um, US economy track. Fine. It's already at the max, but you can add still the improving counter. And uh, it's a plus two public approval. That is lovely. So we are now above 60%. That's really good. Um, but that's not all. We get additional rewards. Uh, because it is number two on the public um, legislation priorities. And it is my number one administrative priority. So that means we get plus one legacy point and another plus two public approval. Wow. And we get another leg plus one legacy point and four action points. That's really not bad. Okay, and then we're done with that, I think. So now the bill goes into the past box, it goes in here, and it's not a landmark bill, so we don't get new friends. We got a roll on the Congressional Maneuvering and Drama Table, which is this one here. Got a roll of D6, and we got a couple of modifiers. That's a four. Okay, minus one is a three. The, yeah, that's higher, so it's a two. It's a one, holy crap. It's a zero. Okay, there's a maximum of 
four. So we are at uh, of three overall maximum. So we are at one actually, which is really good. Opponents waiver. Um, if the relations with Congress is seven or higher, that is the case, plus two action points. Remove one opponent randomly from the opponent's box and place it back in the cup. That is really cool. So we roll a d6 and see which one it is. That's the second one. That's a radical guy. And he's not bad. Augusta Dukes. So she goes away. Awesome. That was good. And... So, what happens next? Introduce new bills. Um, that means now I'm allowed to introduce two new bills because of the number here in the Bipartisans Corporation well, box. So the public is screaming for gun legislation. So let's give them let's give them a, a here. Let's give them let's put this. I think we can put this in here if I'm not mistaken because we control the Congress. And then I made this healthcare reform promise. So I wonder, maybe I should wait and maybe the, maybe at some point the public likes this more. So we might consider waiting a little bit here. And, uh, but then again, the next one would be privacy legislation. I think I'm going to go with the healthcare reform. That is my, my campaign promise. So I'm going to take these two. Now we check the media ratings of friends and opponents. Okay, we got two, four, five, and the other guy has only a one. So that's really good. Um, a maximum of three, move public approval. Tie, no change of the result. Yeah, so we can basically move it to the top. Incredible. And then we have to adjust the bipartisan cooperation. And... Now things have changed. We lost a radical guy. So we got now three moderates and only two radicals, which is awesome because that means the the corporation um, would actually even improve, but it's already at the maximum. So it's really good um, good vibes in the Congress. And now we get a free action. I think I want to use my military professionals to treat disease, build schools and clinics in the Middle East. So let's simply roll a die. That is a one. That's amazing. So we got... Uh, China or Russia influence, so it's two, but we can subtract one, um, I, yeah, because of the of the Secretary of Defense's military rating and my beginner's bonus, so we're even at zero. Place a training pro-US counter in the region and receive a new goodwill counter. Okay, let's do this first. That That's, wow, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, so we get the trending pro US counter here. Now we receive a UN goodwill counter. These are these things and they are also they have a value on the other side and they can be spent for a couple of things I guess. So we place them here. This is the UN goodwill earned. And what next? Um, where are we? Here. Remove one US military footprint counter from the region. Okay, 
That's a really good result. We throw that in here. Um, if there is none, yeah, okay, that's it. Cool. That was definitely uh, a good action. Okay, so now this thing moves down here and we gotta draw a crisis chit. But only one. And that was not bad. It's a... Uh, um, we only have to draw a single card and we can ignore the plus. So that's pretty awesome. So let's see what we get. Border skirmish in India. Roll d10 to determine which nation was evolved. That is a 6, so it's Pakistan. Increase India's conflict track with that country by one box. Place two tension counters on India. Plus one regional crisis in Central South Asia. Okay, so this goes up by one. Um, two tension counters on India. And then we have India, Pakistan. This goes up by one space. Okay. And that's it. That goes on to the discard pile, I guess. Yeah. So now we do the focused national intelligence here. And so let's see what that what that allows us to do now. Okay, we simply roll on the on, on the on the table here. And we have the focus here in Africa. That's a six, uh, close to a ten. Um, our strategic reckon is higher than that of China and Russia. So that gives us a modifier. And they have an influence counter there, but their cyber strategic is not higher than that of the US. And we got another minus one modifier for the beginners thing. So we have a four. Effects on terrorism. Move a level three to one terror group in the region to the locating box. Okay, so we got. Uh, hmm. So that means this one goes here to locating. And then move a different one in the region to the gathering intel box. There is none, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you don't have to move it back. Effects on war, choose one. So there's a civil war. Uh, you may choose to share intel with the UN in order to get them to intervene. Make an immediate broker peace talks roll in the UN for the chosen war with an overall direct modifier of two. Of course, we do that, so we need to find the chart. So there we go, we have a diro modifier of minus two. So let's roll. That's an eight, so that brings it to six. And the fighting continues, no further effect. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Nope. So the next thing is one action for POTUS and each cabinet member. So let's see. Okay, I think I want to fight terror uh, during this action. Well, but let's see, we got... Okay, so with my... With the Secretary of Defense first, I want to perform a raid 
uh, uh, a drone strike on a terror group. And I can perform up to two drone strikes or airstrikes on target terror groups in a region. We have to do different ones. So let's see. Um, now we can choose, do we want to do an airstrike or a drone strike? Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to do an airstrike against these two guys. Oh no, there is no air force, so that's not going to work. So let's do a drone strike first against the level 1 terror group. And let's simply roll a die first. So that's a 9. That's really bad. Um, even considering... You know, I got a lot of action points left. I'm going to do a reroll here. That's a 2. That is much better. I got a ton of negative modifiers. Um, definitely 3, I think. There is influence there, but that's not such a big deal. If national... Let's see. National Intel Counter, US Intel Counter. So we got three. Yeah, we got basically a zero here. So one or less. Surgical Strike kills key terror leaders. Survivors scatter. Decrease the terror group by one level. So that means this terror group is completely destroyed. And that goes back over here. Plus one public approval if the target is a level one or two. So that can't even go higher. Move terror group to the gathering box on the intro tag. Okay, that is already gone. So um, I say we do the same thing with the level two terror group, or we try. And it's another drone attack. Ah, or should we try to do it in the Eurozone over here? But, hmm, I know, that's also tempting. Maybe we can get rid of it completely. You know, I'm going to do that. I am going to do a drone attack. I cannot use drone or airstrikes in the Eurozone. So, uh, I have to do it in Africa. Let's do another drone strike. That is a 7. Let's see what that says. So I can subtract overall 2. That's a 5. Strike is effective but causes civilian casualties. Decrease the terror group by one level. Place a U.S. military footprint counter in the region. Minus 1 public approval. Okay. And we would lose our goodwill counter. Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty risky. That's not cool. But it says only if airstrike. Okay, if it would have been an airstrike, it's pretty risky. But it was a drone attack. So we lose a public approval. I think I can live with that. And... Uh, we have to place a military footprint counter there, which isn't so good. But okay. And we can reduce this thing by one. And it's placed here. Nah, that wasn't the best action. Now a Secretary of State can do some diplomatic actions. I think it's really important to, to de-escalate here in Israel. They are one step before war. So we have to de-escalate de a conflict here. Um, so roll a d10, and we can subtract one, two, and uh, these guys are not involved, so we can subtract two. That's a two. Decrease conflict track by one box, place a trending pro-US counter in region of countries involved, and remove one tensions counter from each country involved, plus one public approval. Excellent. So we can decrease this 
This goes now up to six, which is really awesome. And we can remove one tension, right? One tensions counter from each country. Well, that is Israel. I think the neighbors, I don't really know where, what the neighbors mean. So I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't think that Saudi Arabia is involved here. Or are they? Hey, they might actually be. In a way, these are neighbors of Israel, but I don't think we're talking about that. I think it's Lebanon or something. I don't know. Tough call. I will only remove a tensions marker from Israel. I'm not sure what it actually means, the neighbors. Um, so, I guess that's it. So that was my first action, and this guy has a second action. So, um, hmm. I could try again to, yeah, to, I'm going to do a crisis relief here. So I'm going to roll a die and see what happens. That's an eight. That's not great. I can subtract two, though. Um, so that brings me to a six. So it worked out can bring this down by one space. Nice. So these were his two actions. Let's see. Well, 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 we got two domestic actions. And I'm really at a point where it's hard for me to find a reasonable domestic actions. This guy has also an extra action. And I can maybe address the the lingering domestic issue here. So I want to do that. We've got a few modifiers to my advantage here. So that's a five. So address domestic crisis is my number one cabinet focus. Um, I got a high approval so that brings it to three, I guess. Oh, what is that? Plus two to all rolls representing the height and difficulty of dealing with a lingering crisis. Okay, so that means it evens out. So we have a five and you got to check this roll here. So we are, or oh, this, this, the cabinet improvement check so we are good uh, so we can actually decrease this thing by one so it goes to zero that's cool we would get a plus three public approval but we are already totally maxed out and hmm <laughs> yeah i mean i don't really know uh, what to do we are so perfectly good when it comes to domestic politics. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, there's no, no terror guys, uh, no terror groups there, domestic crisis at zero, lingering issue at zero. Um, <sighs> incredible. It's interesting. When the player is on the one action for POTUS and each cabinet member segment, Actions can be used to remove tension counters anywhere on the map, but only the president can remove them from Russia or China. So that is pretty cool. Um, <coughs> let's see. We might consider, for example, we got a lot of tension counters here in India. I think I want to remove one there. <coughs> or in Asia Pacific. Well, let's remove one from India for now. And now it's the president. We, we did that. 
the president has one action and I actually want to remove one from China and we got now the vice president has one action so let's see what we do with him I'm actually thinking about improving uh, to try to improve the alignment uh, in Africa that's not easy because we got to do a regional alignment check uh, but let's try it anyway that's an eight uh, I'm pretty sure that didn't work out uh, there's only a five we can subtract two that's not good enough I'm gonna do a reroll we got so many points and we have to spend them during this um, during this turn uh, that's another eight okay so that was a wasted turn but okay so that's then the end of this one of this action point and now we got four more diplomatic or military actions so you know I'm gonna try that again to raise um, yeah let's do that again ah it's a 10 my goodness uh, this is horrible uh, let's reroll that's a four that worked out so that means we can place a trending pro US marker in this region in Africa Hmm. Can you try that multiple times? It seems so. So that was my first action. Hmm. But you know what? I also want to try to get rid of the terror group in the Eurozone. And maybe I can do some... I can fight the terror here in Asia too. I think these are important things. So, let's see. Um... We got, I can do a rate in the Eurozone and I'm going to need my world charts to do that. Uh, where is the rate? Somewhere in the middle it was, I think. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's our rate table and um, this is not the best situation. There is not even an intelligence counter there. Hmm. No special ops, no intelligence counter. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Uh. So it's basically a minus one. I want to try that. Yeah, I want to try that. And it has to be in the target fixed box. And you can only do one attempt. So uh, you cannot target two like with a drone attack. So let's see. That's a one! Whoa! That's amazing! We got him! High value terror leader killed. Survivor scatter. No, that's a zero. Oh, but yeah, we can subtract one. Awesome! That was just great! So it's a zero. Move terror group. Okay, the terror group is gone completely. That is awesome! Okay. Plus three public approval doesn't work. Plus one legacy point. Lovely. Um, Loop used the captured intel to make an immediately intel attempt against one other terror group in region. Sadly, there is none. Um, minus one regional. Oh, then choose either minus one regional crisis. That is already at zero or plus one action point. So of course we're gonna take another action point. Yeah, that worked out well. I wanna to try to remove Russian influence 
in that region over there, that's a diplomatic action. So that would be that my third action. Um, I can do it. I got a, a I got a six alignment and a zero regional crisis, and that allows us to do this. Um, so we'll do ten, and we need a one to six. And that was a success, so that means we can remove a Russia influence from here. Cool. So, let's do now some intel gathering for the terror group level 3 here. That's pretty risky. We take that as our last action. It's not risky, but it's risky to leave that for a long time there. Um, so, we can now choose two groups. And uh, yeah, so we do it. There is no intel gathering, no, no bonus or anything. So we have to simply try to roll a one to five. And we did. Now it's looking good. That's a two. I gotta, I'm gonna place it here so there is not that much glare. Sorry for that. Um, so. That's a one to five success. Place terror group in the gathering box. Okay, so cool. We can place this thing here. And the second one, I want this level three terror group here probably. It's, it's although maybe the Chinese will do it. It's a bit risky. Hmm. I could also simply push this one. You know, maybe I should. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It's tough. I'm gonna do the one in Africa instead. That's also a two. Awesome. So this goes to locate it. So we're done with our actions. And that means now we have to draw chits again. Okay, that is NSA. Two cards. So if I'm not mistaken, that means we can draw the top two cards and then we I'm not quite sure. One can be removed from the game, I think. And I think the other one goes to the reshuffle pile, but this is something I have to check. Ah, there we go. Uh, NSA 2. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Cool. So let's see. Two cards. Intel Breakthrough. I'm pretty sure we want to keep that. And the other one is a natural disaster. We don't want to keep that. So good that the NSA has a good eye on the Mississippi. And this one here now goes to the reshuffle pile. Nice. So that helped a little bit. And we have to draw another card. Another another chit. Okay, what is that? Uh, plus one. Okay, we got a we got a random re regional crisis. That's not good. So uh, roll a d10 to determine which region. That is number ten. That's Asia Pacific. They are already a bit in trouble. Move the regional crisis level at the bottom of that region one box to the right. Okay, that's not good at all. Um, well, that's it. Okay, so we're okay. So now... Oh, you know what? I think I messed up. It says, if a plus comes, draw again. And I just left it here. So I should have drawn until I have, would have drawn something that had no plus. That's... 
That's interesting. I would have done. I should have done that here too. Are there? There are not that many cards without a plus, actually. Okay, I didn't know that. So that changes the things a little bit. But okay, it's good to know. So okay, we cannot use this, for example. So I'm, I gotta draw again. No, that is not true. That it does the same thing here. I think I simply actually ignore the plus. Let, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you simply ignore that. So we're gonna take that one. And we gotta draw one crisis card. It's a little confusing that this is, um, yeah, that this is written here, but it's also written here, so I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna draw a crisis card. A single one, so it's not that bad. Uh, congratulations, nee, Congressional Progressive Caucus Criticisms, my good, what? Congressional Progressive Caucus Criticizes President. A new candidate emerges. Oh my goodness! Uh, so we gotta place a draw or place a new opponent in Congress. That's not good. So we're gonna draw from here until we have a black marker. There we go. And this is a really good guy. Holy crap. But he's a moderate. But he's got a, a three. Actually it's a lady, Chloe Johnson. She's very good. But we're still a little bit better. Wow, I mean, these two guys are nearly as good as my four guys. She's a moderate, so it's maybe not that bad. Um, make a presidential prestige check. Okay, so my prestige is only at three. That's not good. Ugh, that's a ten. Terrible. Um, but I can use this guy's ability to re-roll any one die roll that is either a check against one of the game tracks or roll in the cabinet improvement or cabinet drama table. So I think this is a game track. So I think I can use this thing. And that's a four and it's still not good enough. Shit. So I failed. Your rival gains traction with the public and the press Minus one public approval, minus one relations with media. Okay. That isn't too hot. Make a party relations check. So that is pretty high. I got a seven there. That's successful. Uh, pass. You're still there, man. Plus one to party relations. So this is at eight. Crazy. Okay, and then we got a media slant. So, uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. Get a check. It's actually written here, media slant. So we get plus one public approval because our rating is still pretty high. So this goes up again. And that's it. And this thing is discarded. Okay. So I think we're done here, and uh, I'm gonna do my next three actions before I upload this. So let's see, we can't do any actions. Hmm. I wanna try to improve my alignment with Africa again. Um, so let's see, I can flip that. Got to do an alignment check here. That's a five, that looks pretty good. But the problem is, is a minus one, that's minus one, minus plus one if Russia or China, but I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. So that means this goes up. So now I get an alignment of six, and that is cool because this now allows me to remove a China influence because the crisis is at zero, my alignment is at six, so I can try to remove one Chinese influence. That's a six, 
Uh, is that good enough? It is. Cool. So, we can remove one Chinese influence from Africa. Now we got one action left. You know, I'm actually thinking about trying to, to improve the alignment there in South America because if this goes further down, it's going to be harder and harder to improve. So let's, let's do it now before it totally drops. Um, I mean, we could, we could say we do this thing first here. This might be even more important than the one down here. Yeah, I'm going to try to do it. Oh, man, look at that. The region. Oh, the major crisis. Oh, my goodness. You know, actually, I think I got to deal with the major crisis first. This is even. Whoa. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a crisis relief there. So let's see. That was a terrible roll. So we got to do again. We got to re-roll. Ah, shit. That was a nine. Um, yeah, that didn't work out bad. You know what? I'm going to spend two action points. We got a lot of action points and that allows me to do another roll. And this time I'm going to roll here in Asia Pacific because that's also a three. I didn't really see that. Okay, that was great. That's a one. Fantastic. So that means I can actually decrease this thing by two points. Yeah, I can only buy me one extra action per space. Okay, now we come to the core support check. You can see that here. And that means you got to do this here. That's a four. That number shows a four. And that means we got to bring this down to the direction of 40 or up, depending on where we are. But sadly, one, two, three, four, this drops to 62. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna load this up now, and the next thing we have to do is a terror or chaos roll, which means we have to consult some tables. But before we do that, I'm gonna load this up and continue this tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, you might consider uh, supporting the channel on Patreon. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.